Ah, the jujube. Hopefully this wind is not too much. Getting into the microphone, we're expecting a rainstorm. We have not gotten a storm here for a very long time, but that's not the reason why I'm talking about this tree. This is the reason I'm talking about the tree. What in the Kali Baba is this? Why are these leaves curling in? You might say, well, it's because of aphids, but no. If I open this leaf up, I don't know if you can see it, but if I open this leaf up, no aphids. But one thing of interest with this jujube is that it is very glossy, almost like an oily substance is on the leaf. And I have not sprayed this with anything. Nothing has been sprayed on these. The backside is less glossy, but why? Why is it curling? I don't think it is overwatering or underwatering. I haven't changed that. Um, here, I'll show you in the ground. So if we go to the ground here, that is not dry. And it's not wet. It clumps together. It holds its form. So I know that it's not too wet and I know it's not too dry. So why the curling? If you know, please let me know because I, I would love to know what I need to do to be able to fix this. Maybe I don't need to do anything to fix it. Maybe it's just a random event. Either way, really glossy leaves. Don't know what's going on with that. But here's the other neat thing. Look at those little buds. Those are flower buds. Am I gonna get this to fruit right now? No, this is just the beginning. In about two months, as they're flowering, I'll start to get fruit set, but not right now, it's too early. The other thing that I'm gonna change this year versus last year, I had a couple of comments stating that my jujube was not a sugarcane jujube, that it was a honey jar because they were so small. I had tons of them, thousands, but they just were not very big in size. So I'm going to fertilize with a low nitrogen, high PK, and see if I can get the fruit set to be a little bit bigger to the right size. That's one change that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fertilize here in the next uh, couple of weeks for that size. The other thing that I think is interesting, see this little yellow length here? This is all dead wood. If I just lightly move it, look at that, it just comes right off. Um, if it doesn't fall off itself, which it usually does, I like to come out here and just kind of pick it off if I have some spare time to be able to do that. It kind of feels good, it's soothing. But it gets stuff out of the way to allow for this new growth to come in. Um, the other thing when you're pulling that away, be careful because look at the edge here. Well, there's, you can't really see them on this, but here, if we go underneath, you can see, look at those thorns. These are very small thorns, but thorns either way. So they can hurt, but a nice little prick never hurt anyone. Maybe they have. Here, grafted variety. This is a Redland grafted variety that I put on here just a couple weeks ago. We will see if they take in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully they will, because I want to have another variety on this jujube. Let's go up to the Shanxi, and I want to show you the difference between the leaf glossiness and between the two varieties. It hasn't stunted the growth. It's growing really well, but it's just glossy and curling in. Here's the Shanxi. It's a little windy, but look at the leaf shape. The leaf shape is open and wide. It's flat. That's usually how jujubes look. There might be a little bit of a curl on the edges, but they're not curling in on itself like the sugar cane is. Look at this growth. I mean, that this right here alone, that's two feet worth of growth, and it's been one week. It's crazy awesome. And then back here, I have a grafted variety. This one is the Sherwood Jujube, which is another large size jujube. 
And if we can see this in the wind, look, little flower buds, yay. Okay, I'm keeping this one short because of the wind. Storm's coming in and it's gonna be exciting. I hope you all have an excellent day. And if you know why that jujube is curling in the leaves, please let me know so that I can fix it. If it's not a problem, then we'll just see, I guess. Here we are, June 1st, a couple weeks later. Look at the leaves. They've opened up more. They're not as curled. There is a little bit of curling still on it, but some of the growth on this is really good. Some of the coloring, lighter green versus darker green. All this new growth is a lighter green. And look at all of the flowers that have come out. These are not going to make fruit right now, um, but you can see some of the bees and flies that are flying around here to be able to pollinate it. I don't think any of this, any of these flowers will fruit right now. Um, I guess time is what fixes this problem. The leaves are not as glossy and maybe it was just because we had a lot of water in a month. I'm, I'm not sure why on earth it would curl. Man, look at that. This thing is about 12 feet high. It provides good shade for the chickens. Hey chicks, what up girls? A uh, good amount of bees and stuff that will come in here and bugs and the chickens will eat the ones that fall to the ground. But beyond that, it looks good. So jujube, I guess the fix for the leaf curl is to just let it be. Continue to water it, continue to let it grow. Don't do anything to it. Man, jujubes are one of the easiest trees to care for. I would even say it's easier to care for than a mulberry and it grows just as much as a mulberry and the fruits on it come in the fall. So mulberry in the spring, jujube in the fall. One other thing that I want to show you, look at that. Right there, see that? That is growth from the grafted variety, the redlands. And if we go just a little bit lower, I don't know if you can see it this growth right there that also is from the redlands so both of my grafts took on this tree which is so exciting yeah baby it, they're also gonna start to fruit that's the nice thing about jujubes they can fruit the first year on the growth all right let's go up to the shane Sioux. why is it always windy when i'm recording these things maybe it's just too windy Okay, it is at a total of uh, nine feet. This is its second year in the ground. So it's been in the ground for one full year and just starting its second year. Look at all of these nice little flowers that are growing here. You can see the leaf is slightly curled just like the other jujube down there. So flat or slightly curled, which is totally fine. That's normal, looks good. But here's the thing that I wanted to show you. See if I can get back there. Ta-da, look at that right there. That is from the graft. There's already fruits, flowers, flowers that are starting on there. So there's one and here's the other one. Man, it's so awesome. So that means I'm getting growth from my grafts. All of my grafts were successful on the jujube. Timing is the main reason for success. At least that's what I've experienced because both of these were grafted differently. One was a whip and tongue and one was just a cleft graft and both of them took. So last year when I tried to graft some jujube varieties onto these, they didn't take, and I think it was because it was too late. When this starts to leaf out is the time to start grafting. But with the other varieties, they were already leafed out and I grafted basically in the middle of summer and they didn't take. 
So there we go on the summary of this. We've got two jujubes. Now we'll have four varieties of jujubes. I'll give you an update on those four varieties. But uh, word of the wise, you don't have to do anything with these awesome trees uh, besides water them. I mean, that's it. So why wouldn't you grow them? And it's really good fruit in October, Man, September, October. Uh, easy to grow. What else could you ask for? Go Jujube. I hope you have an excellent day and uh, give me some info on your jujubes because I love to hear about everything jujube beyond my other 90 varieties of fruit trees. All right, I hope you all have an excellent day. And remember, don't party too hard unless you're a party animal. See you on the next one.